Hi, I'm Dave Koster. I'm the General Manager of the Holland Board of Public Works. The Holland Board of Public Works operates electric, water, wastewater, and broadband services for the City of Holland and the surrounding area. And this coming year, there are key initiatives and projects in all four of those utilities. Starting with the electric utility, we're focused on bringing new green energy into our portfolio with the addition of 13 megawatts of solar coming in over this next year. And we're helping our Community Energy Plan strategic development team with their work of updating and creating the next set of strategies and priorities uh, for our community and engaging the community in the use of energy and how we're producing energy in our community towards a lower carbon future. Uh, that group has been meeting every couple of weeks and later this fiscal year here we'll be wrapping that up and leading into the strategies um, and the uh, deployment of the actual task forces to explore those strategies over the next fiscal year. Uh, we're also working on electric reliability um, by improving all of our underground circuits that were um, built prior to 1990 to keep our reliability and our electric utility one of the best in the state of Michigan. So those are some of the key priorities within the electric utility. Uh, moving on to the water utility, uh, we actually have a large project, about a $14 million project, to add a second transmission line from our water plant all the way along uh, Lakewood Boulevard and connecting in at River Avenue so it can serve the city of Zealand as well as uh, our service territory. It'll help in our hydraulics for our line and it'll add additional redundancy to a line that was built over 60 years ago so that our reliability of our water is, is there for our system. We're also completing the onboarding of Park Township residents into our retail system. Prior to that, they were on a wholesale service to Park Township. Now they, we are billing them directly and responsible for that customer interaction. And so there's additional telemetry to put in for those meters over the next year and really kind of bring those customers onto a full retail experience. The last thing in the water utility that we're dealing with is over a 20 year period of time, we'll be removing all of the lead goosenecks and galvanized service lines uh, within the city of Holland. There are about 2,500 of those and additional uh, roughly 1,000 to 1,500 where the galvanized lines are left. So as we do road projects and improve the water mains in those areas, we are doing about uh, 100 to 200 uh, of these service lines uh, a year over the next 20 years. In our wastewater utility, we have a very large project coming up. It's underway actually. It's been planned for the last couple of years. It's the addition of an anaerobic digester at our water reclamation facility which is about a $32 million project that will be important to reduce the amount of biosolids that we're producing in our wastewater treatment process in half. And those uh, biosolids will also have a different classification to them. So instead of having to be disposed in a landfill or placed on farm fields that are growing crops for non-human consumption, we could actually recycle those biosolids in a lot of different ways, including mixing those with uh, yard waste and creating something that's more of a composting uh, product that could be reused. So we're very excited about that. It also is creating renewable energy on site by uh, uh, allowing us to produce electricity and heat through a combined heat and power unit using the methane that's produced in the anaerobic digester. In addition to the digester project, we're also upgrading a lot of our lift stations. We have 36 lift stations in the city of Holland that have to be uh, improved from a reliability standpoint, uh, including um, uh, controls and some of the mechanical components of those lift stations to uh, improve the reliability and keep our reliability high on our wastewater system. And then our last utility is broadband. And that's a very key initiative for our community. Uh, it's been a priority for council to look at how we can grow our broadband through uh, the entire community and, and make it ubiquitous, available to all. In our downtown area, we did a pilot program over the last couple of years where we uh, deployed what's called a new uh, technology shared gigabit. Um, it's a gigabit system, 1,000 megabits per second, uh, up, upstream and downstream, so an ultra high speed system. Uh, and more cost effective than the traditional type of deployment. And so now we're working on community engagement effort. It's been underway, it's been difficult with COVID, but it's been underway for the last year where we've actually talked to 13 key groups in the community. And now over the remainder of this fiscal year, we'll be deploying a much broader reach um, uh, to the entire community to inform them of what we're looking at, try to get feedback on the different options that we have and that hopefully in the next fiscal year then we'll be able to bring some recommendations forward to the city council and to our board uh, about how we can actually implement that and how we can pay for it in our community so that everybody has access 
to this high speed um, opportunity with broadband. So that really concludes some of the key initiatives from the Board of Public Works for this current year and leading into the next fiscal year.